the woman calling the shots for the Aztecs is Beth Burns. She's standing by now with Steve at the interview desk. Steve. John, thank you very much. Beth Burns with us. Congratulations, first of all, on win number 200 at San Diego State. What did that mean to you? Well, it meant, it meant a lot. In the context of the game, it meant another road win right. and an opportunity to succeed in the Mountain West Conference. But it makes you remember uh, President Tom Day and Dr. Fred Miller, the president and athletic director who hired me. And, you know, when you're an assistant coach, somebody takes a shot. Right. And, and I certainly appreciate that they saw something in me continuing forward through Rick Bay and now Jeff Schemmel and, and Dr. Weber. It's, you can't accomplish something if you aren't invited to, right. to be there. So I, I really appreciate uh, the leadership at San Diego State. And my phone, thankfully, was blowing up with players, <laughs> former players. Oh, good. Uh, you know, because you don't win a thing without having good players and good assistant coaches. So you've been doing it for a while. You have 281 wins overall. And Pat Summit just got 1,000 within the last week. Can you even fathom that, getting to the 1,000 mark? I don't think I've frightened Pat. I don't think there's footsteps <laughs> being heard. Uh, it, this is what put this, like, if you can get your hands around 30 wins times 30 years, and you still need 100 more. And I read another stat, over 400 of those wins were against top 25 opponents. She's the best there is. Uh, there'll never be another like it. She is a wonderful uh, mentor to all of us. We'll invite anybody to come in and see her work and right. do her stuff. And uh, but that is a, she said records are made to be broken. I don't know if that one's going to happen. Well, you were telling me the landscape of college coaching has just changed, and we probably won't see anyone get back there, no matter how good they are, uh, anytime soon, if ever again. Well, I, I think when Pat Pat was the head coach of Tennessee when she was, I think, 22, 23 years old, and. You know, I, I had to do my grinding in right. 10 to 15 years as an assistant coach to get to that point. So I don't think there's too many athletic directors out there that are going to take a flyer on a college graduate, but you never know. Let's talk about your team right now. Seven wins uh, going into, you know, a very important game at home against Utah. Seven Mountain West Conference wins, by the way, tying, you know, the best that the, the ladies have ever done at San Diego State. How important is what's happening uh, on Tuesday that came against uh, Utah and where you guys are, quite frankly? Well, it is. I, I have to give you a calling all Aztecs. Wednesday night, 7 o'clock, uh, to have a home court advantage in our conference, which spans obviously from the beauty of San Diego to Dallas, Texas right. with TCU, home games are precious gems. And we have three, only three home games left, beginning with league leader 9-0 and Utah. Put this wow. in perspective. 10 of the 15 athletes on our team are freshmen and sophomores. They've never seen Utah lose a regular season game. Wow. They're 9-0 and this year. They were 16-0 and a year ago. So a huge confidence right. boost as well as an opportunity to stay in that 1-2 spot in the league. And yet you guys are perfect 11-0 at home. And I read a stat today. I think there's only seven schools in the country that combine with their men and their women. The men and the women out at San Diego State are combined 21-1 and at home. And you guys are 11-0. and That's, well... A streak's going to be broken, and I'm hoping it's the youths that are going down <laughs> on Wednesday night to break their undefeated streak. Paris Johnson looks like she's having a, a quite a nice run here. She year. is. You know, our, our year, we have great guards. We have a great backcourt with Quinice Davis and, and Janae Morris starting off the season, and they've really carried us. But of late, Paris has gotten more and more comfortable. She's the most experienced forward on our team, and she's 15 games into her sophomore right. year. And, and she's really started to get confident and seeing double teams and triple teams and even so put up huge numbers and we will expect and need huge numbers from Paris down the stretch for us to continue to be successful. I don't want to get too ahead of ourselves here, but you guys are going to host at Cox Arena this year, NCAA Regional. You're, you're getting too ahead of yourself. I, I, yeah, that's that. right. That's okay, you know what, I'll tell you what I can. But anyway, can but you, you can talk about that Okay, too. but quickly, are you allowed, it's not like the men's, right? Where the, the, women's, the women's NCAA rules are if you get in, whether you're a one seed or a 16 seed, you get the host. So wow. if I told you every person in our program does not have that carrot dangling out there, I'd be lying to you okay. and I'd a lot. So right. you answered you're right. My question. If, That's if exactly you get what in, I was gonna say. if you get in, you get to host. It's right. huge. Congratulations, Beth Burns over the weekend at Air Force getting win 200 as San Diego State head women's basketball coach.